who is going to be able to do enough to claim the victory in the Manufacturer Series for the World Series Showdown Grand Final. So Fraga leads the field from your hall as we go green and go racing in the Grand Final at the Dragon Trail Gardens Circuit down towards the first corner we go in these Group 3 machines. It's Fraga from your hall, from Cockerman, from Miyazono. Cockerman and Miyazono starting on the hard compound of tyre, expect them to drop back and already there's a gap that's quite prominent between your hall and Cockerman for second and third position. Let's see whether Brooks and Leboutier and Benelli and the like on the medium tyres, the quicker compound compared to the hards, will be able to try and mount a challenge. Down the start finish straight we go. Fraga leads the way from your hall with that half second penalty. Miazono pulls out on Cockerman. They go side by side down towards the first corner into the left hander. It's the Super on the inside. Labounier is going to come here as well as Cockerman gets hung out to dry in the Mazda. Off the circuit almost there. Just about gets it back on on the straight and narrow. Loses a position. Labounier is on the inside of Miazono. And now you can see the, the uh, Jaguar as well of Andrew Brooks getting involved in the party. He's now up the inside of Miazono. So Cockerman and Miazono going backwards. Here comes Benelli and Giorgio Mangino ready to join the party as well, it's frantic stations in the mid back here. So interestingly, there's a bit of a divergence of strategy here between the hard runners. Cooper went onto the medium, but he's opting to go onto the soft compound and tyres. So this might be a good idea because look around him, absolutely nobody apart from Rio de Cokeman. I imagine big smile on his face, like, ha ha, I got you. Uh, um, Ideally, Miazono wanted a clear track there on that soft tyre. He's going to try and send one up the inside here. This is, this is really important for Miazono to get by now. He's losing time with this squabble with Koki, but he wants to make the most of that soft tyre. So he's going to try and see, but there you go, got it done. Uh, but still lost a, a good second in the bit there, I think. Kukubin comes into the pits finally for that soft compound of tyres. He's running a long time though, that's going to be 11 laps on that soft tyre. Plus a, quite a bit of fuel going in as well. He's been saving fuel top because he's losing barely any fuel compared to the human needs only. I think that's because he's been stuck behind some people. He's been able to just lift and coast and save a little bit on the slipstream points. Maybe that's been his strat. Look at how close Benelli gets on the brakes onto the back of the Peugeot of Quentin Hall, Of course, soft compound of tyres here for Benelli, so you'd expect it to be a bit quicker despite them coming, I guess, towards the end of their useful shelf life. Yeah, Quentin wasn't uh, aware of Lucas's presence. He definitely is now as Benelli lines up the pass coming down to the bottom of the circuit now. Fairly easy pass in the background though. Georgia Mangler fancies to go as well. And Quentin Hall, who was ready to let one car by, inadvertently lets two by. Meanwhile, on board with Rio de Cucumber, back with his old mates, Kim and Miyazono. They started together on the same compound of tyre, and they uh, fell apart for a bit as Kim went for a different strategy. Now that Rio de Cucumber's on the fast compound of tyre, it's coming up now to overtake the Subaru, Master versus Subaru, down to the bottom of the corner here. I don't foresee Miyazono fighting this too much. Runs around the outside, Cucumber up the inside, move made, Master up to seventh. Down into the hairpin bend. Not a bad exit though for your haul, and that might just buy him a little bit more time as it stands as they get ready to come down in towards the braking zone. Indeed, Cockerman's quite close, but not close enough to mount a charge, or is he? He's up the inside. There's contact between the two. Cockerman there with a very late lunge indeed, and he does get through into second place. I think it might just be a little bit too little, too late here for Riotta Cockerman then. What a fantastic race it has been. What a brilliant finish to it as well. Tension right until the very end here in the grand final for the World Series showdown in the Manufacturer Series. But nobody can fault the drive of Igor Fraga. He started on pole position and at the end of 25 laps, Igor Fraga and Toyota win the Manufacturer Series in the World Series 2021 showdown. Toyota and Ryota Kokoman come home in second. Quentin Yahal for Peugeot rounds out the podium in third place there as well. A fantastic result. Brilliant driving.